Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll cover the use of the corrected sample height feature in Electroforce DMA software. In DMA and other material characterization tests, it's important to measure sample dimensions for accurate calculation of stress and strain. In this test, I have a tensile sample and measure the width and thickness. For samples used in linear tension or linear compression tests, we can use the corrected sample height feature. To properly use this feature, I must configure the displacement channel in wind test after my grips are installed and the crosshead is positioned and locked. I can use a gauge block to provide a known measured reference length to the software. I insert the gauge block between my grips and move this close to the position of the upper grip. I then use the preset feature in wind test to move the grip to make light contact with the gauge block. Once I'm in contact, I will tear my displacement channel to zero using the auto tear feature. This displacement channel is now configured for the corrected sample height feature. In the DMA application, I click the specimen shape button to enter my specimen information. I click specimen type. For this test, I select linear tension rectangular. I type in the width and thickness that I measured previously. Now, instead of trying to precisely measure the specimen length after I installed the sample, I click Corrected Sample Height. This changes the length here to reference length. This is where I enter the height of my gauge block used when tearing my displacement channel. Wind test can now use that displacement channel to effectively measure the gauge length of my sample. Now I've fully entered my specimen shape information and I'm ready to run my test. In this tech tip, we cover the use of the corrected sample height feature in Electroforce DMA software. Stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.